Good morning. Good morning, Peak Freaks. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? Let's do this. Today we're going to start with the stretch strap. This is what you need for a warm up. Let's go. Basically, I'm going to close the door. Sure. Thank you. All right, we're going to start on the floor. Good morning. Ida, you always here. You are always here and I love it. You always come on. Thank you so much. You always so active. Fantastic. Now, right on the floor. Let's go. Lay down. I have no shoes as you see me. I'm going to do the active stretch today with no shoes. Trust me on this one. Try this. No shoes. Bare feet or just with the socks. Let's do this. So look around your foot. Go up and down. We got to stretch really well. Do you guys see like on Friday, by Friday, or sometimes maybe, usually by Friday with me, I feel super sore by the whole week of workout, right? Do you, do you experience the same thing that you, you're on Friday, you're like, oh wow, I am really tight, even though you've been stretching, because you're putting so, such a hard work throughout the week, right? So we gotta, we gotta stretch more. Good, now we're gonna bring that foot in, bend the other leg, bring that foot in and extend. So we're stretching the hamstring, the glute right here, pulling it in and extending it out, in and out. Just make sure that you're not rotating, not pulling on that foot itself. Just bring the whole thing like that, pull that knee outside, Good, now we're gonna go across. So right arm on the floor, this is right leg. Right leg goes across the body. Sometimes you feel like a click here, that's lower back. So here we're stretching. The whole section of your glute, right? That lower back. Now, if this doesn't feel comfortable, bend that leg. You can hold it here for a few seconds or you can bring it up and down again. Like, uh, for me, I like to hold, always I like to hold that stretch. Not necessarily going up and down. But again, you kind of listen to your body and, and see how it feels, how you like it. All right, the same leg, we're gonna go out to the side. So my left hand is out, my right leg is up. I'm gonna go down towards Stacy right there. There you go, so now my left hip is facing the ceiling, my left arm is on the floor, my right hand holds that strap and up and down. And I have to tell you, these straps are available on Amazon. This one is my favorite. It's full, super stretch. It's like so stretchy. You see that motion right here because the, the, the one that we had at the gym, the green one, will never stretch. But they obviously improve the strap. There are different companies that sell those and this one is stretchy and I absolutely love it. It kind of adjusts the range of motion and bring it down. So inner ties, pull that right leg a little higher so you can feel the inner ties stretch. Very good. And we're going to stay sideways. And let's just bring that leg behind us and let's kick it forward. Boom, right there. Bring the leg behind us. Stretch that quad, feel the stretch right here, and kick it forward. And again, quad stretch, good quad stretch, feel it good, right in front of your leg, right there, and kick it forward. Pull it in so you can feel that stretch. That bottom leg can be slightly bent, and you feel this more than actually when you do the standing. Good, time, let's do the other leg. So this is our stretching today with the strap. You don't have a strap, grab a rope. Grab, grab a monster band. So right leg is down on the floor, left leg is up, toes are down. Hold it for a second, feel that stretch. I am doing it without my shoes. I, if you've never done it, I strongly recommend you do it without the shoes. Because shoes, remember, they give us extra cushioning. You don't feel as much. So you want that foot to absorb it as much as you can. Now, toes are down. More down you go. More of the 
stretch you're gonna feel. Yes. And bring it down and up again. Stretch. And we're gonna go right into the glute, right? Glute stretch, boom, and push, extend. And again, stretch that glute. Stretch, 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 and push and extend. Good, and again, pull it in. Feel that stretch. Boom, right there. Breathe out, deep breath in through your nose. Exhale through your lips. Keeping that knee outside, pulling it in towards your chest. Nice, we're gonna go into lower back. Stretch left arm is on the floor. See, I already brought that right left leg across my body. I feel that stretch in my lower back, my glute. Bring it up, deep breath in, and again, exhale. Try to keep that left shoulder on the floor, straight out. And how are you feeling? I also feel this in my hip flexor, my left leg, because that's the tight side. Good, and bring it up. Now I'm gonna go outside. So look outside there. Right leg facing the ceiling. Left leg is out and up. Right arm is on the floor. Left hand holds the strap. Feel the hold for a second. Now you can bring it up and then gently out. So you can feel that stretch. I like to hold this. This, especially this part, I like to hold and feel the stretch. But active stretching is totally fine instead of just holding before the session. You can do this after the session, just hold. And we're gonna finish with the quad stretch right here, quad stretch. Heel into the glute. Stay totally sideways. Push your hips forward. You should feel in front of your leg a strong stretch. Kick it forward <laughs> and bring it back behind you. There you go. Oh, this feels good. Tracy, do you feel that? You feel it? And kick it forward. And again, bring it over. Ah, good stretch. Awesome. Now look, we're going to sit for a second. We're going to bring that strap around our toes. So find a look that fits you. If not, just put a street rock or hand or master band right there. Look, and we're gonna hold that strap and we're gonna try to pull those legs a little gently towards us as we're going down. You feel the hamstrings right here, lower back too, right? You feel that stretch, yes. You gotta hold this a few seconds, just like this. If you can, hold your toes right here, hold them. Feel the stretch. Slowly release. And again, deep breath in and exhale. You can walk your hands. Some people walk their hands towards the toes. If you can grab your toes, you can grab your toes. Hold it there. You, what the goal is not to round your back and go like this. The goal is to bring your chest forward just like that. And then stretch. Ah. Feels good, right? Okay, time. Time, time, time. Ha! Put that stretch strap to the side. If you don't have your shoes, you are putting them on. If you have your shoes, what I want you to do is start going just jacks front and back. You can go around the house just jumping as you're moving, okay? And we are putting our shoes on. You guys are jumping, so jacks. Stacey is doing jacks, just legs. Keep on moving, forward, back. There you go. You're moving around, jumping on the ball of your feet. Because remember, we stretch right now. We gotta just put on some kind of light work before we're gonna start. Keep on jumping, keep on jumping on the ball of your feet. Now switch to front and back jacks. Just front and back jacks. Front and back. So those are split jacks right here. So split jacks going right here. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Kasia, good morning. 
Hello, u nas jest 6 rano. 6 a.m. here in California. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna pop those arms up and down as you're moving forward. So just move forward, move around, move forward. And now we're gonna do a split jacks. Arms go up and down. Just keep on moving front and back. Hola, good morning. So we have US in the house and, and Poland in the house. Yes, so cool, right? All right. And gonna jog, jog, jog forward, jog back, loosen up those arms, shoulders rotation. Are you guys seeing us good? Do you have good lighting and everything? Just want some feedback, make sure that it's all good. Okay. Keep on jogging, Casey. Jog forward, rotation with your arms. Rotation with your arms. Switch to your left arm, jogging. Good, and time. Look, we need stability ball. As I mentioned yesterday in a post, stability ball, dumbbell, low step. If you don't have a step, bolster ball. And if you don't have anything like this, don't worry. We're gonna show you what you can do, modifications. All right, so we got you covered, don't worry. All right, let's do this. So, stability ball, we're gonna grab a pair of dumbbells and we're gonna start with alternating chest press. Then we're gonna be doing a super set uh, supersets with the lower body. You see how it goes. We're gonna show you four exercises and then right after that we're gonna repeat those all. So let's learn first. Sit on the ball, sit tall. As you walk yourself out, your head and shoulders remain on the ball. You're creating a tabletop position. Chest is open. Look at the ceiling, chin away from your chest, hips are up, so you can put a glass of water on top of your belly, okay? We're gonna pump with those alternating arms chest press. So why are we doing like this? To create instability. So your, you see how your body is like kind of, upper body is like moving, right? That's the whole point, but keep your hips up, keep your heels pushed into the ground, pump those shoulders, Pump those arms. You should always start with a little bit lighter weight just to get yourself going, just to pump the blood, loosen up, increase that core temperature. Keep your hips up, squeeze those glutes. Yes, that's the work right there, your glutes. So it's not like we're staying on the floor, right? And pumping those, the chest press. And time. Remember, this is the first round. We just gotta. Just learn it, get going. Put those on the side, you can lock your ball to the side. And we're gonna go into a jack forward with this squat. So you're gonna go boom, 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 boom. Feet together, feet wide and wide into a squat. You can turn around. I'm gonna show you this way as well. So it's a jack squat. Jack, squat, right? Just like that. Boom, 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 boom. You want higher intensity? You can even raise those arms. Bringing them up and over. or no arms, it's up to you. We jumping, we squatting, there you go. And time, we're going right into high plank renegade row. High plank renegade row, high plank position, dumbbells right here, let's do this. So for renegade row, keep your feet a little wider wider feet, so you have more stability. We're gonna roll it in, bring it down. Slowly. Slow. You shouldn't hear your dumbbell going down. That's how quiet should be. So let's stay quiet and see how we're doing. Too loud, Dicey, too loud. Quiet, right? 
That's the whole point. Keep those hips stable, as straight as possible. Your body wants to wobble. We are not wobbling. Ah, we just staying stable. We rowing. You see, my dumbbells are at the angle, almost just creating like a triangle here. And time. We're going into split jack. Split jack to lateral lunge on each end. So you're going to pop those split jacks. Boom. Half those split jacks, boom. Now see what's happening. On my left, I'm gonna left with left, leg forward, split jack to the right. I'm measuring, so I'm gonna land in my right leg. One, two, three, four, five, boom. One, two, three, four, five, boom. Feel that? Right leg, left, uh, 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 boom. So count, five is the magic number or an even number because you need to have a left leg and you need to have a right leg. Now, keep on going. If you cannot do this, do this split jack and maybe do a reverse lunge, okay? Do this split jacks and step back with the leg. So take your time and step back. If, you, if the high intensity you can't do because your legs bother you, right? So there are always an option. So let's pump those. Boom, 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 boom. 90 degrees. Now keep your hands in front of your face, right here. Boom, drop. Pump, 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 pump. Drop. Split, jack in front and back. Down. I'm going to show you sideways. A few more. So 90, both legs. 90, both legs. Nice. And time. Oh, good. It just said, okay, fantastic. Just want to make sure that we always showing the best you can see us. Now we're going to start from the beginning. So now you know how the tempo goes. I'm going to quickly say switch, switch, and we're going. So get heavier dumbbells if you can. Something heavier. Remember, this might not feel exactly like you would do chest press on the floor because this is unstable. This is on the ball. So sit tall, always on the ball. Walk your feet out. Head and shoulders must be on the ball. Lower back is away from that ball. I'm pushing my hips up 90 degrees. Chest is open, chin away from your chest. And you're just going to pump those arms here for me, okay? Strong breathing. Controlling with the dumbbells. Good. Pump it up. Pump, pump, pump. Yes. Yes. Squeeze it. Your feet can be a little even wider than your shoulders. That's fine. You want to dig those heels into the ground. You want to keep those hips up. Because the moment you go down, you're hyperextending that lower back. Not a good position. And your glutes will not work. So really pump this. A few more. And time. Look how I'm walking, right? But you can also put these dumbbells just right here. And you're fine and safe. All right. We're ready to do that jack squat. So remember, you're going forward into jump with both legs. You're going forward into squat. Keep on going. Now, other option is keep on going. It's just going into jacks, few jacks, and then pop the squat at the end like we did with the lunge. You can turn around, do a few, pump right there into the squat. You can't do jumps. Just squat. Walk, walk. Squat, walk, walk. Or you can do jumping jacks. Walk, walk, finish with squat. So we have always options, right? But if we're healthy, if we're good, let's pop those. Let's pop those. Squat. Boom. Hips low. 90 degree angle. You're engaging your hamstrings, your glutes, your quads. My upper body stays upright. 
Yes. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Now, land quickly on the ball of your feet. Transfer that weight to your heels. Good. And time. Renegade row is next one. So you already know this one. Go. Renegade row. I grab heavier dumbbells. Let's see. Headplate position. I'm going to show you sideways. Please, you can come forward, honey. Come forward to your room. Right there. Let's do it. Roll it. Roll it in. Back is straight. That's the goal. Sit straight. Feet are wide. Stay on the ball of those feet. Slow, gentle drop. Then you know if you make a lot of noise, cocoon, cocoon, clunking sound, that means that you do not resist. And resistance is not only in pulling up, it's bringing it down. So slow. See, if you're gonna go, you see how no control? Now think about it, each control, you burn more calories. And time. Awesome job. Put this to the side so you have room so you're not gonna jump into the dumbbells. Always clear the space. Front and jack split jacks right into the jump punch. Let's do this. Pump, 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 pump. Have more space. Maybe you wanna squeeze. More jumps, more. More jacks. Right here. Pum, 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 pum. Jack, split, jack, split, jacks. Oh, yeah. Front and back jump on the ball of your feet. Boom, 90. Both legs. Back is straight, so try not to lean forward. Yes. And time. All right, stretch those squats for a second. Loosen that up. Because think your quads are working on that ball. When you're holding that position, you think it's not. Then your quads are working in your renegades too. They non-stop working here. There is no break when you think about it. Let's do it. Stability ball. Press. I'm going to stay sideways right here for you. Lift those dumbbells. Sit tall. You're going to walk your feet as you lower yourself down. Right there. This is where I am. This is where you should be. Checking the position, chin away from my chest. My head must be on the ball. My shoulders too. My lower back now. Hips are up. Squeeze tight. Now you're going to pump those arms. The obliques have to work to support that motion. Your whole abs section. Your whole core. Core is front and back. The spine, right? Lower back. Pay attention to those little things. Pop these dumbbells, open up the chest. Don't drop those hips down. Hips are high. The glutes are working, the quads are working right now. You're feeling it. Oh yeah, you gotta feel that work. Ha, and time. Ha. Put it down, ball to the side, right away into those Jacks and squat. Let's do it. Move around the house. Go from one room to the next. Go from one room to the next. Unless you are like us, we are training in the garage. We have decent space here. We can move around. If you can, 
maybe you are outdoors. Have plenty of people that are doing this outside. They're taking it outside because they are in all different time zones. Some of them have warm weather all the time. Some people have cold already and they have to stay indoors. So do what you can. Time. Hyper Renegade Roll. Look, if you feel tightness, just quick little stretch before you go down. All right, pay attention to your body. Always in tune, in sync. All right, peak freaks, we gotta go. Energy, energy in the morning, 6 a.m., which is 9 a.m. in New York. Shout out to whole New York. Guys, you guys are troopers. Let's do it. Lower it down slowly. And again, roll slowly down. Boom. Roll slowly down. Oh yeah, feet are wide, back is straight. That back, that's when he wants to be rounded. Cannot be rounded. Okay. Roll. Take your time. Squeeze it. And time. Good job, good job. Right into those jack splits and lunge at the end. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're switching with Tessie. When I go to the right, he goes to the left. Boom, 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 boom. Write it down. Where are you training from? Are you at home? Are you outside? Of course, in a break, not right now. Right now we are pumping. A few more. They should be on fire. Right here. Good, right? All right, let's stretch them. Let's stretch them. Shake it, shake it. We're gonna go to the next group. Your stability ball stays with you. You need a low step right now. If you don't have a step, you're gonna be using a bolster ball or just body weight. So listen, I'm gonna show you options. This is my step. Right here, Tyson will show you the same motion on, on the floor. Stability ball is first. We're gonna be pumping the bridge and press. As you know, we always learn first, right? So let's do it. Get your dumbbells going. Get your stability ball. Get your stability ball. Get your stability ball. And we're gonna do bridge and press alternate. Now, here comes the thing. You're gonna be doing bridges. So your hips have to go down and come up. Get those dumbbells, go with me first. All right, we're gonna go down. Lower back press against that ball. When you come up, you're gonna press right arm. Go down, look straight forward. Go up, look up, and left arm. So you're gonna alternate between those two. Left, right, down, lift, left, down, and up. Yes, pushing those glutes up without moving that stability ball. So stability ball should not be moving. Your hips only going up and down. Press the dumbbell. Squeeze it, work it. Yes. Awesome job. Almost there. Squeeze those boots. And time. Put them to the side. Ball should be on the side so it's not on your way. 
Yes. Now look, this is how it's gonna go. You have a step, you're gonna do this. You're gonna place your hands on the step. You're gonna jump out to a high plank position. Jump wide, right from here, you're gonna jump on top of the step. So it's a squat thrust, jump, ooh, boom. So with the jump, without the step, how is it gonna look like? Or with the bosu can be the same. You can grab a bosu, I see. What would you do on the floor? Squat, jump out with your feet. Jump wide, boom, right into a jack. Down, out, in, right into a jack. And Tyson is doing the same thing on a bolsa ball. So he's jumping right on top of the bolsa ball in a center. So this is perfect. Push those dumbbells, Tyson, behind you. Let's do this. Jump out, jump in, jump. Now you can jump really low here. Lower you go, harder is going to be. More quad activation. Boom. Down. Out. In. Boom. Low. So as you realize, the stability ball, the dumbbells, it's a slow motion lifting mixed with high intensity jumps. Lower legs. Legs are pretty much almost like cardio toning and time you see how hard it is up yes we're going right into bend over row with your dumbbells grab your dumbbells let's do this bend over row i see two tens my 15s are right here all right let's do it Bend over row. I want one dumbbell at a time. One dumbbell at a time. Lean forward 45 degrees. Lift one at a time. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your shoulder blades. Back is straight. Activate those glutes, hamstrings. Throw it in. Yes, keep on going. A few more, a few more. Reset if you have to, like I did it. Lean forward again and go. And time. Dumbbells down. We are going right into fast crossover on your step. So we're gonna stay on top. It's gonna be quick, top, side to side. The same thing you can do on the bolster ball. So look, boom, boom. Boom, boom. If your only option is a low, it's a high step, you can go crossover top, crossover top. Tyson can do this on the bolsu, but keep your one leg on. There you go, one leg on. Quick top, quick top, quick top. Keep your foot on the ball all the time, Tyson. Top it, top, faster. Boom, boom, boom. Just like that. Let me show you the bolsu ball. Let me show you the bolsa ball. How will this be done? One leg stays on top. Boom, 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 boom. Just like that, okay? There you go. He's doing on a step. Very nice. Keep on going. Top, 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 top. We pumping. Keep those knees bent. Lower you go. Harder it's going to be. If you want to touch the step. Oh yeah, pop, pop. You can do this also on the floor without anything. Look, tap, 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 tap. It's the same go. Just here, you are elevated. Okay? And time. We're going back, right back to your bridge and press. So grab your dumbbells. Grab your dumbbells and let's do this. You started. You are started. If you are on the ball already, you are going. Yes? Yes. We're going down and up. Remember, lower back has to be pressed against that ball. When you're down here, 
you're looking straight ahead, you come up, hips up, one dumbbell is up. Go down, hips down, come up, hips up, one dumbbell is up. Deep breath in, and exhale. Down, 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 and up, up, up. Down, squeeze, press, strong, push it. We gotta work hard. Working hard. Squeezing those glutes. Activating the core. Look straight ahead. Look up. So that upper body goes fully down and fully up. Yes. We're getting to a point. Hard. And time. Woo. I hope you felt that one. All right. Right into, you know what to do. Low step, squat thrust, jump. Squat thrust and jump. Go, either floor or the step. All the goes to ball. Low here, stay low. Back is straight right here. My hand, my hand's touching the step. Jump. You would not be able to do this. You would walk, and you know the funny part is that your body will tell you, "Oh, let me just walk." If I cannot continue, we do not quit, right? We do not stop. We just come on all the time. Before we stop. Get those dumbbells, you are going. 
bridge and press, bridge and press, strength, power, yes, we are here to go all out to perform at our best, squeeze and lift, squeeze and lift, go down, come up, glutes are up, glutes are down, each time you go, push those glutes up, really squeeze your glutes, okay? Really squeeze them, push them high. Our little grip. Remember, this grip is not like the other one that we did. The arms are close towards your rib cage. They pressing straight up, not on the angle. And time. Come up, lift, dumbbells to the side, both to the side. Go right into your squat press. Jack on top of that step. All right. You guys get creative at home. Try it, I see here. Do the squat thrust to jack. I am going to do squat thrust and jump on the ball right here. Go. Squat thrust to a jack on top of the ball, on top of the bosu ball, ball, right? We are working, and stay on top of the bosu ball. So you're jumping on a soft part. Jump up, jump in, stand up straight. And time. Right into your bend over row. One arm at a time. Remember, one arm at a time. Right here, row, row. Your lower back is not taking it. The standing bend. Right? This is fine too. You're gonna engage both of your elbows to the side and you're gonna just row one arm at a time. That's it. Breathe out, remember. Breathe, core, glutes engaged. Always adjust the dumbbells. Not every exercise will carry the same weight. Remember. Might be doing chest press with, with, with 20, but bend over, you have to do a 15 maybe. Or maybe even 10. Who knows? A few more, a few more. Squeeze it. And time. Shake it. And you know we're doing that fast crossover, right? With one foot on top of that step. So let's do it. Go, 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 guys. Okay. Let's go. Pump it. Pump it. Pump. Top. Top. Stay low. You can even top this step. That's burning always because you activating right above your knees. That part right there in the hamstrings. Yes, yes. Oh my here. Faster motion. You start feeling it. Three, two, one. Time. Awesome job. Awesome job. Good job, my friends. We are going into a new section. Drink your water. Stretch. In those breaks, not only sipping water, but think, okay, today, upper body is working, right? Stretch the upper body. I have water right here. And stretch the hamstrings right here. Bring your leg on top of that step. Lean forward, grab those toes. 
you're gonna feel a stretch in your hamstrings. Maybe your calves are tight. Stretch them. The breaks are for to stretch, to lower down the heart rate, to get the energy back on and move forward and go up. Oh yeah. All right. We are good on time. Stability ball. Stability ball. What we have with stability ball? Well, we have a seated shoulder press military. Seated on top of the ball. So, you're going to sit on top of that ball tall. You're going to sit on top of the ball tall. Tyson, grab five pounds, no more, okay? You're going to sit tall. Now, the, don't sink, don't lunge your back. The whole idea is to sit tall, keep your calves away from that ball, right from here, boom. We're going to pump this. Sit tall, there you go, right there. All the way down, right here. All the way up. Sit tall, you're going to feel your abs working here, right? But the core has to work, so don't sink down. Pump it. Pump it. Oh, yeah. And time. Bring it down. Ball to the side. Toe drops. We are going. Toe drops. So, ball to all the step. Now, you land it. You're landing on the floor. You're tapping the top. So don't land on it. When you land, it's totally different exercise. When you tap and land on the floor, that's when you activate the legs. Go slow, tap it. You see how I'm raising my legs? Yes, you see? Tap, 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 tap. Now go faster, go lighter. You'll be doing the same thing, Ayana, with the top of the dosu. You'll be top, 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 top. Keep on going. We're not done. So remember, there is a difference between landing high or landing on the floor. Time. There's a huge difference. All right. Oh yeah, and bicep curl because this is a finished one. So get your dumbbells, and we're gonna pump that plie and the bicep curl. Yes. So with plie, your feet are wider than your shoulder width. Toes pointing out, dumbbells will be inside. We're gonna go down, and at the top, we're gonna curl it up. So, hammer grips and top. Hammer grip, and when you top that dumbbell up, Boom, right into that shoulder, you're gonna rotate. So a low squat and bring those dumbbells down. Almost feels like a little swing here. You have a lot of room here. Point those toes out. Now to the point that you're gonna feel when you go down and come up, when you extend those legs, you're gonna feel it in your buttock. Your butt, yes, your butt, because the heels pointing the same direction on the extension part, you are engaging your glutes. That's the whole idea. That's, that's why we're doing plies to activate the inner thighs more and your glutes. A few more, control the dumbbell on the way down and on the way up, and time. Now we're gonna go into your step. Don't have a step, use the bolsa ball. Squat, crossover, squat. Uneven, you hear? Boom, right into a squat. So it's an even squat, an even squat. Low, low, pump, pump. Keep on going, down low, down low. There you go. 
So if the crossover on the step is the same, you stay low, you don't have anything, what are you gonna do? Pop, pop, touch the floor. On your right, you're right. On your left, you're left. That's it. Every single, pretty much exercise can be done with just a form of body weight. We are crossing over. I don't know why we're stopping. Crossing over with a low squat. Go down, go down, go down, guys. This is not done. This is not done. And time. Now is the time. We're starting all over again. Seated, tall, alternating bicep curl. Get that, get that ball going quickly. Sit on top. Start pumping the, the military press. Now remember, sit tall. Sit tall. Because if you sink down and you round your back, that's not good. The whole idea here is to be unstable. Sit tall. Engage that core. And pump the shoulder press in a military form. So parallel grip, pumping your arms right there going all the way down all the way down but not resting on those shoulders <sighs> yes breathe breathe all out that's fine now we start feeling it don't give up yet and time <sighs> toe taps go 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 Tapping, tapping, right there. Go, Casey's going, I am going. Tap, 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 land, land. Raise those toes up. You have a bow to go, you can do this. You have a high step, you can do this. You have a couch, you can do this. Have something that you're tapping against. Don't just go in the, in the air. It's not gonna work. You have to physically tap it. So if I will go here, Hi, here you go. Harder it is. See? You could even do it on top of the dumbbell. Anything that you have in front of you. Check it out. How it works. Go to different levels. And time. How are we feeling good? Bicep properly, yeah. Get those dumbbells. Let's do it. Oh, we got it. Oh, we got it, guys. Point those toes out. Heels in, right? Shoulders back. Chest is out. Down, down, down. Curl it up. Squeeze. You just show up. Show up each time. Show up each time and do your work. Show up and put the work in. Breathe out. Squeeze. You feel that? Squeeze. Activate on this on the up up part when you stand up. Squeeze the glutes. Take those heels into the ground. And time. Slow, low, crossover. Maybe not slow, but low. Low crossover, squat. Go. Remember this one? Squat. Tap it. Tap it. Tap. Low back is straight. Back is straight. The whole goal is for you to not go this way. Look. Not this way. The, call, the whole goal is to go like this. Back is straight and squatting. Back is totally flat. So keep on pumping. When I'm explaining, you are going. And I'm going to join you. Don't worry. I'm going to put that work too. Top. Squat, 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 pump, pump. Three, two, one, and time. So it doesn't matter, do you 
see me, I'm stopping. You're probably stopping too, but it doesn't work like this. One more time. Stability ball. Seated. Pump your shoulders. This is it. Right here. These fours. Gonna finish all that work today. Okay? So start pumping. Sit tall. You are going. Sitting tall, back is straight. Concentrate on those abs. Legs should not be close, too close towards the ball. A few inches away. Calves should be away from that ball. You should be looking straight forward. One dumbbell up down here. Control motion all the way up. And time! Woo! Ha! Toe taps! Tap it, tap it! This is it. Final one. We're going all out. Go. Squat low. Squat low. Pop that elbow right into that knee. Already, 
is so implemented that daily he needs to do the workouts that this boy has such a discipline and look the discipline he wasn't born with discipline thank you david i did not even know that you were here he was not born with discipline discipline is something that we have to work on when you show up when you do it even if you don't feel like you are still gonna do it you're gonna do it either way just just do it just do it that's that's when it brings that's when you feel victorious he didn't feel like doing it at that moment he wanted to probably sleep but he got up he said i wanted to sleep but i want to do the workout he did it and now he feels victorious he feels accomplished and you're gonna feel the same way that's how it is that's when the moment of doubt of like maybe i'm not gonna do it and you're gonna actually show up and do it and you're gonna feel it you're gonna remember that feeling because this feeling is a next step forward with achieving the goals because you're gonna remember hey memory is funny like is you're gonna remember hey I, I i remember i did it i show up and i felt awesome but you're also gonna feel it probably the days when you slapped and maybe didn't show up and didn't put that work and then how it made you feel that regret is so strong let's stretch i see i'm done bubbling mommy bubbles <laughs> let's go listen up look at look at that ball look at that ball look what we're gonna do just, just wash your furniture at home, okay? Wash your furniture, please. Do not just go anywhere. Like, who knows? Maybe you are down on a hill and you're just gonna go, Wee! and you're just gonna start rolling. This ball roll all the way down the hill, all the way down to another hill. We have to chase it. Can you imagine going after that ball on a steep hill? Fun part. Let's not look. Bring those arms behind you. Overhead as you want the ball. My legs are extended. Now, if you do not feel this uh, secure, what you can do, put the dumbbells here. Put the dumbbells underneath the ball. Extend your hips. Bring your arms overhead. Let those shoulders be loose. Stretch. Now, bring your shoulders to the side. Okay? Bring your shoulders to the side. And let the body, let the gravity pull you down. Okay? Let it pull you down. This feels good. Now, we have to stretch the hip flexors as well. Because this is one part, right? We stretch the chest. But we've got to stretch the hip flexors, the lower back. So, look. Sit tall. Walk your head. Bring your hands on top of the ball. What you're going to do, you're going to press on that ball. Hide your head in between your shoulders. Do you feel this stretch? Look why we do this not on the floor, because this gives us a better range of motion. And it also stretches the, stretches the, your tricep, your bicep. Now look what we're gonna do. Right hand on top of that ball. I'm gonna bring my ball to my left side, my right hand, again, bring the ball across, diagonal. Bring your left, beh left arm behind you and hide your head. Do you feel the lat stretch? Do you feel the stretch running all the way down there? Yes, you should. Please do not miss on that stretch. I want you to stay with me because you know what happens is I switch your arm. Press the pinky into the arm. Bring that ball across. Left arm to the right side. Right hand goes behind you. Why I want you to stay with me? Because it, I give you 90% chances that you will not do that when you come from work when you're gonna return from something things don't happen like this you gotta complete it finish stretch it good now look we're gonna bring that ball to this side right side right hand right arm right on the ball on the right bring your left leg forward right there. Bring your left leg forward. Push your hips forward. Push your hips forward. Sweat? Something, yes? Oh, you gotta wash your hands. Go, go and wash your face. Fine. All right. Switch this side. Go into the shower, wash yourself off. You're gonna feel better. 
stretching right now. He's stretching. Press that ball. Press that ball into the ground. Bring your right leg forward, 90 degrees. Push your hips forward. Good. Slowly come up. Stand up. To stretch the quad. One leg at a time. Stretch it. Clap it for yourself. You did awesome. Thank you so much for doing this with me today and with Tyson. Encourage your kids. Encourage your family. You know what? Do it on the weekend with them. Do it on Saturday or Sunday when you guys sometimes meet with your family. Say, let's do some workouts together. Put, put them into the work. Meet them in the park if it's nice, right? Because the, the, the season might, might be different, might change. Take this. You have a recording. You can save the session. This on, the, on Facebook, it's going to show. You have a phone. We all have Wi-Fi in it. It's going to come up. Get it and do the workout in the park with them. Do something different. Or maybe this is only your chance on Saturday and Sunday to do it with your kids. You know, not even the father family, but just with your kids. So engage them in an activity. Kids need it. My God, they've been sitting in front of these computers, their faces, their screens, their eyes. We got to take them away from this and, and do something different with them and encourage them in movement because uh, this is not a good thing that it's going on. So this is an hour of your day. Put some work. Keep on coming. Keep on going. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. And remember, check in on Facebook. This is an awesome month, right, of breast cancer. I'm wearing pink. I think I should take a picture. I'm going to do screenshots with all of you. So pretend that you're smiling. And I'm going to roll this. I hope I got everybody here. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, Pete Freaks. Have an awesome day. No excuses.